guys, Will again with Gutter Fighting Secrets. Welcome back to another Warrior Wednesday where we discuss the relevant warrior philosophy that will improve your life. Today we're going to be talking about something a little bit taboo. It's something dear to my heart because I've struggled with it. I know a lot of Americans and people around the world, frankly, are struggling with it as well. Talking about addiction. And this term gets thrown around a lot. And a lot of people don't like to talk about it. A lot of people don't ever want to admit they've struggled with it, right? We talk a lot about using strength, inner strength, to overcome your issues. We're going to talk about that now. We're going to talk about using inner strength to overcome Addictions, negative habits, whatever you want to call it, right? It doesn't have to be an addiction to drugs or alcohol or food or anything else, right? <clears throat> negative habits, habits that are adversely affecting you, the people around you, your life. I think too often we get wrapped up in you know, drug addiction, alcohol addiction, things like this, things that you know, you typically will hear about, right? But uh, a negative addiction could be anything. There's positive addictions too. I'm positively addicted to <laughs> uh, women. <laughs> no, but seriously, for real, I'm I'm addicted to working out. Like I think a lot of you guys are as well. I'm addicted to jujitsu. I'm addicted to feeling good, like getting up, and making money, all of this stuff. That that's a good addiction, right? So it's like addiction isn't inherently wrong. It's not inherently bad. But when it starts to negatively affect your life or the people around you, that's when you got to check yourself. That's when it gets bad, right? And sometimes we don't want to admit to ourselves or we can't sometimes even admit to ourselves, hey, you know what? What I'm doing here is like fucked up. It's not, it's not good. We rationalize it a lot, right? Like, that's what I used to do, you know, with a lot of my issues is rationalize them. Oh, it's not that bad or like it's not really affecting anybody else. So it's like no worries or whatever, a myriad of excuses. But when it boils down to it, <clears throat> if it's not making you better, if it's not making you stronger, healthier, wiser, richer, then probably probably something you could do without at the very least um there's a lot of people out there now struggling with drug and alcohol addiction and um it's something that i've struggled with i won't lie i've overcome it um and i'm gonna leave it at that because <laughs> i want to put my own personal business out there too too much but i understand it um and more importantly what we're going to talk about is beating that because you can do it. You can absolutely do that. But you have to want it. You have to want to do it. You know, I, I, I'm just going to say it. I've been sober for a, a, a long time now. I don't drink. I don't do drugs. I still do these fucking things. I eat them like candy. But compared to where I was years and years ago <laughs> that ain't nothing um and people see that i go out a lot talk to a lot of people i meet a lot of people and i go out to bars a lot so i meet people who drink and i've had several people several several people over the years come up to me and say you know will you know you never knew this but i quit drinking because of you and i'm like what the fuck? what are you talking about and they say, you know, we look, we we watch you dancing with girls and carrying on like a freaking buffoon, and you never even had a drop of liquor. Like we don't, we wanted to be able to do that too. We want to be able to talk to people and not worry about it. But we felt like we need that social lubrication. We saw you doing it, and it inspired us. And I'm not trying to like blow myself up here, you know. I'm not trying to like make myself look better by saying that it's true people come up to me and they tell me and i'm always so glad 
when they tell me that and they've stopped drinking or they've stopped using drugs. And it's even better because I never even was trying to help them, right? Like sometimes I think that the way that we help people is to lead and and live by example. And if you want it bad enough, you'll stop doing it, right? If you want to be, let's just use the example. If you want to be living a sober life, you can do it. But I'm not going to be able to tell you anything that will really make you stop. Same thing with every other form of addiction out there is like, and that's one of the hard lessons I had learned over the years because I remember when I was struggling with stuff back in the day, you know, I had a cousin, have had, have, have a cousin. He had been sober for a long time before, you know, before me. And I would like want to, I would want to change my ways. And I would ask him like, bro, like, how did you do it? How did you do it? How did you do it? Tell me some advice. And he'd always be like, bro, you got to figure it out for yourself, man. Like, you got to you gotta just do it, man. Um, if you want it bad enough, and when you want it bad enough, you'll do it. And it wasn't until I did that I did, right? And I'm not going to lie to you. Like, when I, when I did make that shift, it was incredibly difficult for six months at least. Honestly, like, it sucked. Um, and I won't, again, I'm not going to go into it because I don't want to put my... I don't want to put myself out there like that, frankly speaking, but <laughs> it was a, it was a trip, man. It was a hell of a time going through it. But I remember vaguely, <laughs> I remember, you know, um, when I was in the process of cleaning myself up, I would just tell myself, look, there's no other option. If you want this, you're never going to do it. If you don't just do it. I got through it. You know, they have a saying and like, I, I never really was uh, a member of AA or anything like that, but I've, I've been to meetings before. And, you know, they think they have a saying it's one day at a time or some shit like that. Right. It's true. You take it one day at a time and whether that's, that doesn't matter if it's look, I've struggled with food addiction too, you know? Um, I used to be fat. A lot of you guys out there know that. And I remember when I was losing like that 120 plus pounds, I was fucking eating chicken breast and broccoli and like bell peppers freaking three times a day, like protein shakes in between, right? And salads. It sucked, man. Like, and I saw like my buddies eating pizza and like, cheeseburgers and stuff and like it was really tough you know you'd be sitting there grappling with it like i could just go down and have some cheese <laughs> but no like you got to say to yourself like no you're not going to have that right now um you know maybe you can have a cheat meal in a week or like maybe you can have a cheat meal like if you last today and tomorrow maybe you'll have a cheat meal like two days whatever whatever you got to tell yourself right but Using using strength, willpower, whatever you want to call it, mind power, I don't know. But you literally just got to do it. And if you don't do it, you're never going to do it, right? Do it now. Like, do it. Just do it. Just do it. Whatever the addiction is, whatever the thing is that you're struggling with, and I don't know because I don't know you, but if you're still watching this, chances are maybe you, you either struggled with it in the past or you're currently struggling with something. and my advice to you is just do it. Just take the plunge. See how long you can last. I mean, if you don't last, it's okay. It's fine. You can try it again. And if you get two days into it, damn, dude, that's pretty cool, man. That's two days than more than you've ever had, right? But that's two days longer than most people could last, honestly. Most people never even try. Some people try and they don't make it. But if you get two days, you can get three next time. I guarantee it. Samurai have a saying, fall down seven times, stand up eight. Yeah, it's discouraging when we fail. It's discouraging when we make mistakes. But you know what? The fact is you're trying. And as long as you keep going, you will get there eventually. Guarantee you that. Some things are harder to quit than others. 
Some things have physical withdrawal. Some things don't. They're just mental. Some things have both. Um, but how bad do you want it? I'll tell you this. I've never, I never thought that I would live this long. And I never thought that I would have a happy life. And since I've been sober, it's been amazing, frankly speaking. And I think it was probably maybe like a year, eight months to a year after I really finally like sober, 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 my life shifted like right away. It was incredible, it's in incredible in every way. And I'm not guaranteeing that like your life's going to be like a story if you are able to, you know, conquer an addiction, but I guarantee fucking to you one thing, it's going to be a lot better when you overcome whatever you're struggling with. If you have a food addiction and you're fat, once you get skinny, your life is going to drastically improve. I can guarantee you that with 100% certainty. You've got a drug or an alcohol addiction and you stop doing that shit and you're like, you don't do drugs or alcohol anymore, your life is going to drastically improve. I guarantee you that with 100% certainty. Whether or not it's going to be like instant success for you, who the fuck knows? How hard are you willing to work? But I guarantee you it will drastically improve either way just from doing that one thing. Guarantee it. I guarantee it. It's not like you're going to... It's not like you're going to conquer this this whatever you is, is you're struggling with and then be like, man, I, you know, I really don't like it this way. I'd rather go back to the other way. Very rarely does that happen. I mean, yes, people like go back to it and return to it. I actually used to have nightmares about that. I'll be honest with you. For years afterwards, for years afterwards, after I'd stopped, you know, doing whatever I was doing, I had nightmares and there I would like go back and like keep do like doing it again. And then I'd wake up and be like, shit, thank gosh I didn't do that. But you know what? Even if you do, it's like whatever. Did it once, you can kick it twice. It'll be easier next time. I got a buddy right now. Who, he's dealing with that. And he, he came up to me, frankly, and he was like, I'm going to be honest with you, bro. Like, um, I relapsed, and I'm, this is what I'm doing right now. I told him, listen, man, I ain't faulting you for it, bro. Like, you do you, man. Like, you, you enjoy your bender while it lasts, bro, because eventually something's going to, you know, something's got to give, right? Neither you're going to sober up or whatever. I said, yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. And he told me, hey, listen, don't don't judge me for this. Don't don't hate me for this. And I said, I ain't fucking judging you for shit, man. I get it. And I, I don't hate you at all. I'll be there to support you either way, man, because that's what friends are for. Sometimes you got to add a little bit of distance in, but. I guarantee you, you can do it. And it's all about how much strength and willpower do you have. You can summon that up. You can do it for yourself. And you can make it through and you can do it. I believe in you. If you're watching this channel and you regularly watch this channel and channels like it, you're a warrior and you can do it. And I hope you do. I hope you do. Because life is a lot better on the other side. Guarantee you that. All right, guys, I know that this wasn't the, the usual type of thing that we talk about, but I know a lot of people out there are struggling with it right now. And um, maybe one or two things I said could help. And if you, I'm not going to put myself, listen, and you know, sometimes it maybe it, it sounds selfish, but I'm not going to tell you like, oh, you can email me if you're having struggles with addiction, but don't, don't. I don't want to hear about it. Um. Just fucking get yourself right because life is better on the other side. I guarantee you that. And then with that being said, until next time, guys, please remember that you are your first and last line of defense. If there's any topics you want to hear about, you want to hear my philosophy on, put them in the comments below. I'd be glad to talk about it. Thanks, Mother Flowers. Be strong.